All right, now this is going to be something completely out of left field there with that Ezreal jungle locked in. We were wondering when we would start seeing this one. Continue to push on that inner tower, or do you assist top lane? By going top, they're going to delay this. Oh, yeah, Soaz. He's actually going to get the back and push them, and that is going to be first blood over to Soaz. On the dive, it looks like it was oh, instigated reckless. by Hong Kong Attitude. Exhaust already burned the flash and the feathers sink in for the kill. Meanwhile, down bot though, Kai Wing and Unify continue their push. Fnatic from pushing too far deep. John is here, they should fight. be okay. All right, top uh -oh. in. Unified, he goes deep and there is the knock-up headbutt. Both combo and Unified getting the kill caps. Oh, he just tries to slither out too late and even though he dishes some damage, Godquai takes caps down. And it's all HK and follow it on back and We'll get bullied out. Godfly looks to try and take away the Riptail, but not going to happen. Monsoon keeping everybody on the Fnatic side. Help! D as Godfly gets knocked in by the barrel. Flashes away, gets the heal, staying alive. And now Fnatic trying to split attention, but they will be able to find Mission as he couldn't Rift walk fast enough to get out of that one. Riptail done a kill. Big, but constantly it's Fnatic. Oh! And they found a catch right on top of the Ezreal Shen Shield coming in, but Godfly is going to get deleted before he can do it. And Fnatic instantly pinging onto the Baron. Let's see if they're going to be able to secure that one down. With that, it can secure this one up right quick. No Mountain Drake for them, but still plenty of damage. Reavers coming in. It looks like that's going to get secured as they got the zone out on the mission. Fnatic, clean take on the Baron and looking for more as they go for mission. Who tries to jump over the wall, gets the Blast Cone Express, but he is on the wrong side of that mid tower. Really regretting the fact that they haven't been able to. And if the enemy right. team engages, he'll just TP in. And there we go, looking for mission. Even gets knocked up. The CC chain is real, and Caps is going to be able to finish off the Cassidy. And these towers are falling like dominoes right now. 30 they are sticking around for this one. Here comes Broxa. Okay, gets the knockup, and they look for the Tristana, deleting it. It's Reckless taking out his opposite number. Now Reavis will be the next to fall. That shield is not quite enough in mission. Never got a chance to go in for the flank. So as following the flash all the way through on Gatwai, and caps on a killing spree means that this game is going to get closed out. Number one over to Fnatic, 34 minutes into this game. And once they hit the go button, there was no stopping this team. 1-0 up. No early game, no problem for Fnatic. They just meet you in the mid-game, they meet you in the late-game, and they just have cleaner team fights, cleaner picks, and know when to turn it on. Fortunately for Hong Kong Attitude, they had the first 15 minutes on lock, as is usual, but they just didn't have the trajectory to keep on moving in that mid-game. And you can see, for the last lock-in is going to be that rumble for Rearis. And it was really Mission's Jace that kind of gave away that it was going to be Rearis' rumble. Again, another signature pick for him, uh, because you have to... See it happen. Okay. down back in the bot. Both junglers bottom. They've arrived. Everybody knows about this party, though. Let's see, Kai Wing and Unified a little bit low, and they look to jump onto Reckless, looking for that first blood. Nearly have it, and they do. It goes over to Unified, and right now for Fnatic, not too happy with how that's all going to unfold, and Unified hopping right behind Godquai. Let's see if they can turn this into some more kills, though. Mission goes in on to Cap, spending out the ultimate from Soaz. Now it's a 2v2 in the mid. Godquai tagging his way forward. Mission a little low on the mana and on the health. Can't do a whole lot, and Godquai's isolated. Equalizer comes in, and this fight just goes one, two, three, four, but it's two kills in favor of Fnatic. Fnatic can make that three, a double going so has his way. And it's just not recognizing where you actually have knows what's up. He has Got a family. Uh, grounded, tries to flash over, see if he can walk it out, but he's stunned and taunted. Rearis just trying to zoom away, but so has getting kill number three for himself. Woo. Time. Hammer form, knock him back. Now in goes Godquai. Maybe this is where Caps pushes his luck, but I think he's perfectly fine right now. They double down the teleport in. Mission gonna get stopped up by Broxa, who should be able to kill him even through. The cleanse, that was a swag ultimate if I've ever seen. Slithering his way through, that Tristan is backing away, and Caps goes forward, flashing, petrifying gaze, looking for Godquai, Rivers stopped up and stunned, thrown into prison, and down he goes. Kai Wing soon to fall as there's no tower left for backup. The Fnatic gang squad coming through with more kills. And we talk about the strength of Fnatic's team fight, and we don't normally see it this early. Light for is to, uh, to kind of farm up and find those key items. In the meantime, we might be able to find a pick up as Squad. Look at how much damage he dishes under Rivers in a 1v2. Finally, they get the shutdown, but that was so close from ending the rumble. But that is very important that they got the shutdown. really matter at this point because it's already down to 3,000 health. Proxy's just going to hop over. The token smite down. Doesn't even need to do it. Jez is able to secure that one up. Air trap all on top of HK. A desperate fight looking for caps. A few more shots. Unify goes in for the jump. Petrifying gaze, and he just sticks around. A little too late. The barrel comes in after, but the kill's already secured. Now, can Hong Kong Attitude turn this one around to the four? V4. No, I don't think so. As God quite falls. Unified hopping forward. The feather storm already landed on him. Still, though, losing two just for one. Let's see if the Shen Taunt can land, and there goes 
Unified as Reckless picking up the kill, and let's see if this is going to be enough to break the base. Ah, oh, the very edge of the hitbox. It's only Jace that's left, but not feeling comfortable enough to approach the tower and have to deal with multiple fires. Not a whole lot they can do. Those fires are starting to go way too heavy as the Equalizer's thrown down. Rarus stopped up under tower right as he was off the fountain. Down he goes once more, and now it's up to Kai. Pops away to avoid the taunt. Roxa looking for the slowdown for the chase, but the rest of Fnatic, they've got the inhibitor on, in mind right now. A little bit low on the health bar, so I'm getting knocked back into mission. Do they have the damage to finish off the Shen? He gets the taunt off onto Gakwai. Looks like Caps is the target. However, he gets the heal and the shield. Can Unify take him out? Looking for the big buster shot, but it's not going to be enough. The cast knocks Reckless away to the side. Featherstorm coming back up at Fnatic. They're looking to close this one out with no more tools left in the tank for Hong Kong Attitude. That's a double kill over for Reckless, cutting through the Nexus turrets, and they will close this one out. Two and zero in this series. One game away from moving forward at Worlds 2017. And what more do HKA have left in the tank? They got their Cassidy, they got their Jace in their Rumble, and Fnatic didn't care either way. They beat them in the mid-late game, they beat them in the early game. Do they have stop mission this time around? He has the ability to hyperscale into late game, and he has free access into the bottom line. Here's, here's that level two gank. Roxa looking to go in, gets the bop off straight into the rocks. Mission going to get the ghost on. It's only level two. He's not a pool. I don't think so. Getting shoved back on, and it's a flash forward from first blood to Roxa. Ooh, Frank disrespect for mission. He should have known better. He errors. A didn't have the pool or didn't pool, wasn't able to walk away, and B wasn't playing towards the top side. Is now Caps caught. Yeah, he might be in trouble, but he does have that cleanse. Uses it, turning around on Gemini as Broxa and Caps chucks a rock at the back of his head. Out in the tri brush and might get baited in. False sense of security for the little Cho'Gath. Justice Punchy and Shield of Durand is gonna get the taunt off. And in comes Caps and Broxa. Hello and goodbye. Barrel's coming out and that's gonna be Caps picking up his second kill of the game. And suddenly Fnatic, three minutes. So much easier for him to find correct angles to disengage the tornado. Oh, well, there we go with the charm and here comes the wall. Teleport now coming off the backside of it. They've already got the heal down, but Unified is gonna fall. Reckless picking up one. Rerus going for the rupture, does not land on a Caps. And now Gemini's joined the fray, but it's 3v4 all the same. They keep chucking rocks back and forth. Mission. Mission, trying to come in for the flank. That's some low Fnatic members. He does not have healing play. Caps, he gets stopped up, but he's able to cleanse outside of the ice bowl. Rerus, they turn on him and Broxa throws down the barrel to take him out. Fnatic Still trying to hang tough, but it looks like Jezus is going to get taken out. And the pull down for Mission here. Justice punching forward, looking for the Vladimir Caps. It's going to fall. No! It's Gemini who popped. They've got the wall up. Let's see if they can get Kai Wing and Unified pulling back the blades. And Caps wants to go forward. Does get the knockoff onto the Janna, and they combo on in. Hello, goodbye. Kai Wing's taken out in the blink of an eye. Yeah, the CC lock doesn't even get a, a chance to respond with the Monsoon. The flick up into the quickness brilliantly played between Caps and Bullet. Oh, going bowling on to Unified, oh, and they just keep on diving in the back, and down he goes. It's Caps who's responsible for the final hit onto Unified. Gemini realizes there is no way in hell he's going to save this tower. Who gets the Justice Punch away. Fnatic might have gone a little too far forward, and they might lose. Jez is for it. He gets eaten up, and then Mission delivers the finishing blow. And that's one of those instances where Fnatic will always look for it. They'll always look Jezus for this right now. He's the big uh, trigger or go button on this top. Oh, but Gemini is the one who got got on top of the charm. Is there, but Rerus is still zoning three out on the front. So as right in the middle, getting the shield to Durand out. Even the red buff is in the mix. Looking for Gemini, flashing the wall. And in comes Mission around the side. Can they turn the fight? That's a Shut down onto Caps, looking for more. Even gets the smite down onto the red, and now Soaz is caught up. It's a double kill for Cho'Gath. And finally, HKA welcome themselves into a mid game and finally win a team fight. And however, as soon as everyone responds, he is able to just sneak out. The teleport comes in for Rerus. Let's see if he's going to be able to turn the fight in favor of Fnatic. They're split off between the two. Cut off, Reckless, Soaz. Reckless is going to have to flash away, but Rerus is turning right for him anyways. And they decide, even though the front line's chasing Jezus, is going to try to keep the defense going, and they're going to be able to take him down. Those Spikes looking for even more as Unified finds a kill. Mission falls to Caps right in the middle of it all. Just outside of the main part of the fight, it's still a one for two in favor of Hong Kong. If they can get one more pick, should be able to do it, but got to be careful. He's still pretty potent on that damage, and this is the cutoff just looking for him as he flashes away, buying a little bit more time for the team, but the kill is going to be given over to Unified all the same. That's his second on the game. Now, that said, they in a winning position for the series. Rerus getting caught there, charmed up, Battle Dance knocking him back, and they even throw the barrel out once more. Fnatic really wanted to leave this Cho'Gav off the map, but it's bought just enough time for the rest of Hong Kong Attitude to come through. Down he goes, shutdown mission, looking for the Hemo Plague. He finds it on multiple members, but the Redemption's coming down, and so is the Galio right on top of Jez's mission. Gets the kill, but he's going to fall for Reckless, turning it back around. But HK, they've decided they want to fully commit to this one as Unified takes down the Galio. Smoke is not clear just yet. That's a shutdown for Caps.
And now Gemini being chased back away from oh, No, the body slam forces the flash out into Tornado. Reckless still on the chase. Let's see if they're able to find him under tower. He's gonna have to throw one barrel and not say goodbye just yet as they've brought Caps as well. Getting the bop up, Gemini tanking all that damage and even under the tower, Caps says, that's fine. I can throw a few more stones and get the ace. And Caps is just a beast. You know, uh, Gemini uses the smite. And so they say it's 4v5, Vladimir's bottom. Let's look for the team fight instead. And now the team fight is gonna start once more. Gemini going forward does not manage to land a stun off. And now the Baron is being done by two while the rest of Fnatic push HKA back. They've clearly committed to the objective they wanna be able to secure, but Rerus running forward. Let's see if he can get the flash over the wall just in time. He doesn't know it's happening. It's gone down, smited by Broxa. And now Hong Kong Attitude have to deal with Fnatic's five-man Baron. And that was well executed from Fnatic. They don't even take the 5v5. They take the Baron for free and now looking for the fight. Oh, the flash for the taunt and down goes the Vladimir. No pool for you. And Caps is even going to get some relief in the form of Soaz and Broxa. Jez is jumping in, getting a three-man charm on. And Hong Kong attitude. It looks like things are not looking so good for this team. Flashing back away from the tower with the Baron Empowerment. Fnatic are charging for the win right now. They want to prove they can get into the group stages. And they are so close to doing it. And Caps is already in the base. He's led with the wall. His team has a massive free play buff into the top lane. Gemini flashing forward the shove and Gemini's gone down even through the stun doesn't mean a damn thing two members of Hong Kong attitude are all that remain to try and push Caps back but up in the top they're losing pressure yeah so as has teleported up into the top lane they still have a massive creep wave there's two cannon waves they're going to end and it's 15 seconds before anyone's even going to come right back up so Fnatic they realize they have the superior fight with only two members remaining make that one Kai Wing's all the way back to base and Fnatic are looking to put this one away Caps goes golden, and he has got a big smile on his face, no doubt, as Fnatic looking for the final fight. Desperate finish here for Hong Kong Attitude, but it is one, two, three, the coup de grace, and Fnatic are moving on to the groups here at Worlds 2017. And Fnatic, look over at Cloud9. Anything you can do, you can do better. They finish the games faster and just have a dominant performance in the best of five that a lot of people were looking at that this had the highest chance for upset. And Fnatic carried from multiple lanes, multiple members, and from early and late game. Fnatic absolutely earned some massive respect for themselves in this series.